So today what I want to do is I want to go over creating columns within a document library. Um, I think one of the most overlooked things is um, creating columns and creating proper metadata within SharePoint. Um, when you create good metadata, it allows for things to be easily organized and things are easily searchable within SharePoint as well. Um, so if we want, we can just start off right now. So what I want to do is I'm going to go into the report library that we created um, in a previous exercise. And how we create a column is we simply go to settings and create column. So I'm going to create a column called quarter. Um, let's go back for a second. So this is our report library. And let's just say we want to put um, different reports base and separate and categorize them based on the type of quarter. So quarter one, two, three, and four. So again, we'll go into site, site settings, create column, and then we'll give the call, column a name. So we'll call it quarter. And because I want to have multiple selections, um, I'm going to choose a specific type of column. And I'm going to choose the choice column. And what this choice column does is it allows me to enter in multiple different um, choices for users to click on, either in a drop down or radio button or, or check boxes. Um, within SharePoint, there are standard columns. Um, there's a single line of text, multiple lines, choice, the one that we're using, numbers, currency, date and time, lookup, yes and no check boxes, person or group. Uh, this is a kind of uh, this is a a column where it'll it'll show you a group of persons or people within SharePoint and hyperlink or picture and a calculated. This is a special type of calculated uh, column. I'm not really going to go into it, um, but in another series or exercise, I can focus more on this column. Basically, it's dynamic data. You can have it match up against or compare to more than one item, and it'll provide the appropriate information based on the calculations that are created or that are specified. Um, so let's, I've already created um, the, I just typed out some quarter one, two, three, and four, and I'm just going to copy and paste it into the this section here where it's asking me to choose each, type each choice on a separate line. So I have my four choices here. And we have an optional description. We can describe exactly what we're trying to um, achieve with this column. Um, I'll just leave that blank for now. We could also require this column to contain information. Uh, this is a good um, way to direct people into actually filling out information properly. Um, so we'll just click yes on that. And we're going to choose a drop down. We could have chosen radio button or checkbox. Um, checkbox would allow us to have multiple choices, so we can choose call, uh, quarter one and two. Um, but for this exercise, we just want to have them, we want to put them in these four different buckets. So we want them to choose either quarter one, two, three, or four. And then here's another option where you can allow fill in choices. So this can, by default, specify um, a quarter within that field. Uh, so we'll just leave this for no right now. And that is about it. The default value is just basically what it's going to show show on top. But then once you click the drop down button, you have all the other options. And then you have, a cho of course, the ability to add this to the default view or not add it to the default view. So we're going to uncheck this and not add it to the default view. And then we'll add it later on to the default view just to show. So let's click OK. So we now have our, have our new column, and again, because I did not add it to the default view, we do not see it here. So these are the default columns, type, name, modified, and modified by. And let's see our column in action. So let's add it to the default view now. So let's go to modify this view. And then here are all of our columns. And if we go down, we will see our new column right here, quarter. And we can specify the, the position of the column. So right now we have 
one, two, three, four columns, and we want to make this the fifth. So we just click on the drop down, we'll make it the fifth column, and then we simply click OK. And we're adding it to the default view of this particular library. So we click OK, and now, as you can see, we have our new column. So now we have type, name, modified, modified by, and quarter. So let's see this actual column in action. So let's upload a document. Now let's click on Browse. And then we're going to choose one of our reports. So let's choose Report from January to March. Click OK. And now as you can see, here's our column in action. So since it's a required field, um, we have to fill out this information before we can fully upload this document properly back into SharePoint. So let's just specify, as, as before, um, quarter is the default view, but then once we click on the drop down, we can simply place it into another um, quarter. So we're going to choose this as quarter one. And here's an option. We, can, we have an option to, um, to give the actual report a name. We're not going to actually give it a name. We'll just maybe copy the file name and put that as a title as well. We click OK, and then now we have our report uploaded into SharePoint, and now it has the quarter one metadata attached to it. And so let's try to upload another document. And we'll do August to September. Click OK, and let's put this as second quarter. Yeah, let's try this one more time. Okay, I just got to rename this file for a second. Looks like I have an illegal character. Okay, the file is empty. One thing about SharePoint is that it's very smart. It kind of knows when a file is empty and whatnot. I'm not quite sure how it does, but it's a pretty cool feature that it knows that the file is empty. So I just had to add some text to the file, and now it'll upload. So I guess I didn't have an illegal character. I just didn't. I just had an empty file. Anyways, a little setback. So let's continue on. Quarter three, and we're gonna click OK. And now we have all all of our uh, files, each within their specified quarter. So that's pretty much it. That's how we create columns, and that's how we populate columns within SharePoint. It's fairly simple. And um, what it does, it just allows things to be better categorized. We can go further to create different views to only show items within a particular quarter and organize information a little bit better. Um, I will talk more about views in a different exercise, um, but for this scope I just wanted to add columns and show you how to upload column, upload files and put them into the columns and add columns to a default view. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.